good day good day my people welcome back to my youtube channel um today we're gonna focus on an engineering drawing of, of which we call it egd um today we're gonna focus on interpenetration interpenetration drawing is an intersection of two pipes so the whole idea is to draw an interpenetration simply means it's a part it's a section whereby indicate how and how are we going to join the two pipes or whatever by welding okay so now this was one of the question papers um it was written last block uh it was engineering drawing n2 just to be one of the previous question papers as one of most interesting question guys um the penetration so now it was question five but now um allow me to read it we say pika three below shows an incomplete front view and a top view of hexagonal pipe penetrating a square pipe at the right angle in fat angle orthographic projection okay now the first one let's take a look at the drawing before we can read the question we can see firstly that our statement over there is in fat angle it corresponds with our symbol so simply mean what we know is we have a top and the front okay this is the top this is the front but what about this hexagon that we see here is the face of our hexagonal pipe that intersect with the square one so remember guys if this is a square pipe how do we clarify that it's a square pipe we can see from the top then now if this one that is intersecting at the right angle then now how do we clarify that it's an hexagon we see with the face of it from the front view that this what an hexagonal hexagonal, hexagonal pipe so um today guys we're gonna draw the line of interpenetration i'm gonna show you on how we do the the line of interpenetration okay so now um guys allow me to start drawing so the first question was saying redraw the given views in fat angle orthographic projection to scale one is to one so mean simply mean we just have to redraw what you are given over here okay so now i'm gonna start with my line center line my horizontal center line so guys i was trying to draw this line over here okay now secondly I'm going for my vertical line. Okay. Now, I'm saying now um, I can draw the line. We see over here that we have a what? We have a square pipe of which we know square is a what? An angle of 90, the half of 90 is 45. So I can just simply come here and draw up a line of which we say from here to here is 50. So meaning now I'm gonna have to draw up a line there of which I have to measure 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 0, yeah. Okay. At an angle of 45, so I was using 45 square square. But somebody can say, how about I draw a circle with a diameter of 50? Okay. Now, there we go. Let's clarify. We can say it's 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, meaning now, what I can do is I can just draw a line. A center line this side. Going to the other side okay then i take my 45 line again here the draw line coming over here now i'm gonna take my 45 now i take that point over there i draw a line it comes here now i'm gonna have to draw another line that it has to come straight there so now can see the intersect over there so now there's our our square pipe we can also clarify that by measuring we can see from year to year is 50 the same 50 that we agreed on okay so now what i'm gonna do is i have to draw my front view now and this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the same corner that you see from there 
I draw a construction line going down. I take it from this side also. I draw a construction line going down. Okay. Now, looking, looking at my drawing, what I was trying to do is so I'm going to project the, the front of which is this section over here. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to say half of 8 is 40. Then I come over to this line here of which I said is our center line. I'm going to measure 40. Here is 40. Meaning now, I have to close it up over here. Now, from that 40, I have to measure another 40 at the bottom. Of which is over here. And now I'm going to close it up. All right. So, in simple term, we say from year to year is 40 plus 40, of which it gives us 80. Okay. Now, we see we were trying to throw the square pipe. So, for a square pipe, we know we have a line over here, with which I have to highlight it now. We're going to have a line over here. All right. So, now, this is what is happening now. It says that we have done drawing the square now, the top and the front. Okay. Let me just highlight it. Also highlight it from this side. That's where it starts. It ends over here. Let me also highlight the other one there on top. Because we are done drawing the square one. Okay. Okay, so I was just trying to highlight our two drawings there. This is the front, this is the top view of our square pipe, this is the front. Now we see from here going to the side there is 50. You can just simply come here, you measure 50. 50 is over here. Okay, and now you bring it to the bottom light. You're gonna have to measure 50 going where? Going up. So the same line of 50, we draw a thin line which you say is our construction line. We're gonna draw a construction line going up. Simple term, our hexagonal pipe, it has to end over here. So now we're gonna come over here. This is what we can do, guys. So we must draw the face of our hexagon, okay? Now what we can do also here, we can just draw up the center. Okay, after drawing up the center there, now the next step that you can do is, you see, it has a side of 30, so let's draw a circle of 30. So with the radius of 30, I can measure up that my 30 is somewhere here. Okay, now what I have to do is, I'm going to take up my compass, I'm going to place it over here. I bring it to that point there, okay? Now I'm drawing up a circle, of which is gonna help us to construct our what? Our hexagon. So with the same measurement, cause it's a hexagon, is one face different, facing different views, we can also draw it over here. also draw it over there now how am i going to draw my hexagon this is what i'm gonna do okay look i'm gonna draw it inside inside my circle and now i'm gonna take it from here it goes straight there okay i'm gonna take it from this side again it goes straight over here now from there i'm gonna draw a line going straight down and again, I'm going to take it from this side. I draw a line going down there. 
okay now from there i take from this corner it goes there i turn it around i bring it over to the other side here at the roll and it goes there okay so hope you guys do you understand on how i draw my hexagon i just said i'm drawing i took the radius of 30 i draw a circle of 60 there then over i'm gonna use my 60 set square i'm gonna draw in hexagon inside my circle okay now yeah it's one of the challenging part but it's fine take a look here i'm gonna take it like this i'm gonna draw a thin line going this side okay i'm gonna take the second one thin line the other corner over there thin line and the last one thin line so hope you guys can see our shape now here is our shape okay our hexagonal is start over here from that line of 50 it goes straight down over there okay so now where is it going it goes straight there the bottom side it comes straight over here and now we can drain it like this okay now we have these two lines again there showing that we're going to guide us on how to draw our line of interpenetration all right sharp is fine we can leave it to this point now we have to draw a hexagon this side guys now take a look here we have to understand this section if looking at our hexagon from the front for example if i label this as a one i'm saying my hexagon if i look from the front start one here where am i going to see it from the top you see this line that i see over here if i take a look from the top here is my number one can you guys see that so this is what i'm gonna do okay so I'm gonna take it from here. I draw a line going this side. Okay. I'm gonna take it with this line. I'm gonna take it from there. I draw a line coming this side. Now I draw a line going there on the other side. Okay. I'm gonna take the top one also. I draw a line going there. Now the last part is this one. I throw a line going up there. Then now I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna throw a line coming here. Okay, so meaning if we take a look at this hexagon from the front, this is what you see. But now, the moment you start looking from the top, you see it number one now, number one goes there. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Then goes one two three four five six okay now this is what you can do again you can say we have a line over here start from that line of 50 it goes straight here okay now another one is this one on the center we have a line goes straight there then the last one is that one over there of which we have a line there start there it goes here okay now which section were we trying to draw we are trying to draw this section over there now let me close it here okay so the last part now that we're gonna do over here is to draw the line of an interpenetration how are we going to draw that line of interpenetration um this is how we can start simply our advice is to start it from the top see we have the top line it draws a line it comes here to, the moment we come in contact with our square pipe we stop we go away we go down we go down here is number one they intersect over here okay now number two second line is here it goes straight you'll see same line there okay thin line 
it goes, 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 get the a stop. Now, we draw a line coming away, coming downwards. Where is number two now? Here is number two. Where are they intersecting? They intersect over here. So they intersect here. Okay, number three. Here is three. Where is number three? Number three and number two are on the same line. It goes here, it comes down. Here is number three, they will intersect here. Here is our line of, our line of intersection. They intersect over here. Now goes to number four. Number four and number one, same line, you stop there, you go down. Where is number four? Here is number four. Now they're going to intersect over here. Okay, go to number five. You see number five and number three are on the same line here. Number three and number five, they are on the same line. Now where is number five and six, they are on the same line. You get there, you stop, you go down, they will intersect here. Number six, there, where is six and five, it goes down, they will intersect somewhere there. Okay, so now... Our line of interpenetration is here. So now, the last part that we have to do is to highlight Okay, now we're gonna have to leave it like this because they were even saying we must leave the construction line, stuff like that. Then that's all guys, that's an intersection of two pipes of which we have a square and a hexagonal. So I thank you guys for watching my video. We're gonna still gonna do more videos based on interpenetration we still have the two square to square square to round round to round stuff like that that are intersecting at the right angle so guys thanks for watching my video may you please share like and subscribe i thank you